On 16th November 2023, the Meghalaya Cabinet convened to deliberate on crucial matters such as endorsing the proposal to modify NCERT textbooks in specific subjects by the Meghalaya Board of Secondary Education, the establishment of the Meghalaya Education Recruitment Board or MERB to fast track the recruitment process within a three to six month timeline, the amendment of the Meghalaya Fiscal Responsibility and Budget Management Act 2006 and approving the transformation of the Labour Department into the Department of Labour, Employment and Skill Development. And uh, there were four important decisions that were taken by the Cabinet. Uh, the first decision was uh, to amend the Meghalaya Fiscal Responsibility and Budget Management Act 2006. Uh, as you are aware that uh, even last year this uh, particular act was amended. And uh, this is done because uh, obviously Government of India has allowed different state governments to increase the budget borrowing based on reforms that are taken by specific states on an annual basis. Even last year, the uh, reforms that were taken place by the, by the state government in different departments allowed us to increase our budget borrowing limits up to 4%. Uh, and this year again, uh, in the, based on the power uh, reforms that we are taking, uh, there will be 0.5% uh, increase in the uh, budget borrowing that is allowed and uh, that annually it has to be amended. So. Uh, the particular act and through an ordinance is being amended today. Uh, proposal uh, for adaptation of NCERT textbooks uh, based on uh, certain modifications in certain subjects uh, will be done by MBOS uh, from now on and uh, this decision has been taken and by that I mean in the coming uh, academic year the process is going to start and uh, we will see this adaptation taking place as we move forward. But immediately, uh, the cabinet decision that has been taken today is uh, to allow uh, the adaptation of the NCERT textbooks with necessary modifications uh, from class one to class 10. And uh, there are certain uh, schools that are uh, in local language, in vernacular language, the classes are taught. For them, from class 1 to 5, the adaptation or the necessary changes in the, uh, the language will be done. And uh, once the translation and language is done, then the adaptation will take place. Uh, let me just go into the background of why this is important. Uh, this is important because uh, we have a uh, concern uh, in the overall education system and after doing thorough research and consultation with different stakeholders at different levels in the education system, uh, we have come to the conclusion that uh, most of the textbooks that are being used in MBOS, especially when it comes to these three standardized subjects, which is science, English, and mathematics. The books are not at the standards of the national level. And hence, to improve the overall quality of the textbooks, we are adopting this. That's number one. Uh, also, number two, that uh, in terms of the learning outcomes at the elementary stage, uh, the textbooks that we are using currently are not in conformity <coughs> with that particular aspect and hence to bring us in line with the learning outcomes at the national level we are changing this uh, textbooks and this changing of the textbooks uh, will also lead to a reduction in the number of textbooks being used at the uh, different class levels just to give an example to you that uh, under the MBOS right now for class 1, 2 and 3 there are 11 textbooks that are recommended, uh, but under NCERT there are only four textbooks. So hence the number of textbooks will go down drastically. In fact, for class uh, uh, five, uh, if I recall from the presentation, there were 17 textbooks under uh, MBOS, whereas for class for uh, uh, under NCERT it is below 10. It is about eight, nine something. So therefore, there will be a large reduction in the number of textbooks that 
uh, will be used 